the Lakers as they get off the team bus after arriving at the arena. Pumped up to go after a road win here tonight. Coming up, live coverage of this Tuesday night NBA game here on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Here are the five for the Lakers. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three slot. And for New Orleans, Ingram and Zion, your small and power forwards. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. And it's Valanchunas in at the center position. We'll be keeping an eye on the front courts in this one. Both teams very skilled at the four and the five part. And you know what? It's a nice contrast in this age of small ball and positionless basketball. It's good to see the front court players thriving and making it happen. Pass to Russell. Now Achimura. Davis, the pass to James. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. That's in there. LeBron Davis James. with the assist. Three. Working it to the open teammate that time. Excellent awareness from Davis. James against Williamson. And there's the drive. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Valanchunas. Davis hits. AD just shoving past the inside contact that time. Powerful move getting it done. Outside Jones. Out to the right wing. The fadeaway. And that one's good. The gates the tight defense with the fadeaway. Slick move and a nice touch on the shot. James passes to Russell. He can't get that one to fall. Oh, nice D from McCollum. And here's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game play. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were, too. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything joined against you. Very frustrating. Here's Davis following the score by New Orleans. From the top of the key, the shot by Russell, no good. You've got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Red hot so far, four for four. Cooking with gas, couldn't draw it up any better. Inside, here's Russell, up and over McCollum. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Shooting for Los Angeles, D'Angelo Russell at the line for one. Free throw is good from Russell. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Now here's Russell. Really played well I against New Orleans in his last game. Easy to see how locked in LeBron is. Get some contact on the shot, but never even phased by it. New Orleans calls timeout. And hey Clark, what's most amazing about LeBron James, how remarkable he is playing at his age. B.A., there's a lot of things that are really incredible about LeBron, but that's one of the most incredible. His high level of play at his advanced age. And he's still playing with great athleticism. A credit to the work he's put in and his giftedness.
taking a look at some numbers here for C.J. McCollum. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Pass to Williamson. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Williamson's got his third basket of the night. Russell deciding where to go with it. And there's another one for the Lakers. Boy, fantastic job that time cashing in from the mid-range by Russell. He understands when to pick his spots from the mid-range area. Now here's McCollum. He had 25 points in his last game. Jones with the ball. And Davis picks him up defensively. Shot clock at five. Williamson for three. Shot the infinite wingspan of Davis is on full display there. The Lakers have gotten five of seven shots to fall to the middle. And finished off by Davis. Well, I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. Here's Valanciunas. And it's blocked by Davis. And as it goes out of bounds, New Orleans will keep possession. Outside Jones. Just five on the clock. Here's Valanciunas. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Valanciunas has got his second basket on the night. Pass to Reeves. Davis with it. Outside Russell. Pulls it in from the elbow. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got three assists tonight. McCollum against Russell. McCollum taking his time here. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Defensive foul! And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, B.A. Playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed and matchup possible. And of course, for those lottery teams, just continuing to develop and build winning habits. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. The free throw drops for McCollum. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. To me, it's been the ball movement. That's been the key. I mean, going from good to great. Not settling for a good shot, making that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. Man, they're just having their way, bullying the other team in the painted area, imposing their will down there whenever they want. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. Both free throws good from James. Well, as we've seen throughout the history of the Lakers, Clark, it's a big free agent and trade destination. Well, I think part of it is the weather attraction. I mean, guys love playing where the weather is always nice, not to mention to be with a team whose goal is to win championship. No one covered. Ingram's got his second basket of the game. Ingram knocking down the long two. He's extremely effective from there. Russell finds James. Here's Reeves. Outside for Russell. Five on the clock. Drains the triple. Russell's got ten. For three. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Here's Jones. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. He was all over. He just couldn't react in time to stop that quick reverse. Russell, that's good. He's got 12. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Outside Jones. 
Here's Williamson. And the Pelicans get another bucket right there. Los Angeles has gone two of two at the perimeter. Davis down low. Valanchunas covering. And Davis gets it to go. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Ingram, it's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. So it's both teams making substitutions here. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Pelicans. That free throw, good from Ingram. You know, Ingram is quiet about the work he puts in after practice and before games. Um, this is a guy who just never stops trying to improve, though, and that's shown up in how he's grown as a player. Oh, Shot is good by Reeves. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. And the Lakers with possession here. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Here's Reeves. And they pick up two. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. And he's going for the oop here. And Nance with the slam. Everyone loves the alley-oop play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Unless you're the team getting punched on. That would be the difference. And another three for the Lakers. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's McCollum. His scoring ability is impressive. Averaging 20 a game. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Their last encounter was in New Orleans, where they were able to handle the Pelicans. And in the last meeting, they were the better defensive team. They were the disruptors, causing turnovers all over the place. Very satisfying performance, and one they'll look to repeat tonight. I mean, they ended up winning it going away. Let's give a nod to defense now with a list of the teams leading the league in steals this month. In third, the Pelicans. They've really gotten after it at the defensive end, and that's been generating turnovers. Here's Vincent. McCollum defends. Dinwiddie passes to Reddish. Yes, and a nice assist from Dinwiddie. In order to create effective spacing, you need enough guys on the floor that can hit from downtown. Here he goes. And the bucket. He has six. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Dinwiddie passes to Reddish. To the inside, Prince. Well timed pass. And he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Boy, excellent roll and finish by Prince. Competes hard. He's tough. Well, he scratches a lot of boxes you want scratch from a three and D wing guy. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Then what he finds reddish. Oh, stolen by Dance. Here's McCollum. McCollum. 
Great positioning on the putback. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint. But the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggression. Just a strong finish there, guys. They needed just one hand to do it. Sometimes that's all you need. Out to McCullum. Right wing. Beyond the arc. And the three-pointer goes. And that ties it up. Boy, the defense really wasn't bad there, but he's a gifted shooter from distance. Here's Vincent. The Pelicans pull it in. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. Out to the wing. Shot clock at six. Pass to Nance. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. They allowed him to establish deep position. You just can't do that. Exactly. I mean, once he's got the ball in that area, the battle's already lost. And he makes it. Torian. Prince has got six. Prince not one to back down from a challenge. Even when you contest his shot, he's going to still concentrate and get it up and down. He takes it in. Yep, that one goes. And the Pelicans lead by two. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Outside Reddish. Over Ingram. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. He's got five. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. From about 19, and it's New Orleans with another. A big time effort for Brandon Ingram, providing a lot of energy for New Orleans. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. The Lakers, 43. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. Another thing that's gone well for them is the mid-range jumper. <laughs> it's been falling with ease so far. New Orleans in the lead. We've got Jonas Valanciunas. Larry Nance is out there with Brandon Ingram. Then there's Jose Alvarado. And it's Hawkins in at the two spot. That's the Pelicans five as we get into the second quarter. Down low. And finished off by Davis. This goes to well, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Pass to Hawkins. Valanciunas down low. Davis on him. And it's blocked by Davis. On the wing, Reeves. With the drive. And they take the lead. Reeves has got nine points. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Now here's Alvarado. Still no points. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Zion Williamson. Herbert Jones. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Sinks it from distance. Since being traded in 2019, Brandon Ingram has really increased his three-point attempt. His percentages have gone up, too. Now here's Russell. 12 points for him. Pass to Achimura. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Lakers lead by one. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. And there it is for them. Already seven lead changes. These teams are really going after each other. It's been a brutal game to play, but a fun one to watch. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. If you can't stop it, here it comes. Right at you. 
Clark, it feels Ooh. like we've reached the peak of this three-point explosion. What do you think the next trend in the NBA will be? You know, Brian, it's hard to say. I mean, perhaps we could land on the return of the center because we're already seeing that in the centers that are excelling and dominating the league and winning MVPs are in their prime. So perhaps we'll see teams get bigger and play more through their centers going forward. Now here's Valanciunas. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. Los Angeles. Austin Reeves. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Republicans, Herbert Jones. Shooting two. And he makes a first. He's off on the second. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. And Davis slams it home. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. New Orleans calls timeout. of the small forwards here are the most locked in shooters this past month Rui Achimura on top and we've seen how efficient he's been scoring the ball not just gunning for threes but also working it inside and that inside outside game I like to call it reversible clothing it makes him the most accurate shooter among NBA small forwards Jones his shot is good Jones has got five points now in the quarter Hey, if you give him room, he's going to score the ball. To the paint, Davis. And that one good. And the Lakers lead by three. He's lighting them up. Tough to strategize a comeback when you're being run over. Well, Clark, we often note the offensive impact from Davis. But he also gets it done on the other end of the field. He is the best defender in the league in my mind when you look at all the aspects of playing defense. He's a multiple block shot champ. His anticipation and timing at the defensive end, uh, top shelf. Now here's Alvarado. No points yet. Back to Jones. This one for three. And another three for New Orleans. The defense really fell apart there. You can't afford to leave them all alone at the yard. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Hachimura outside. Five to shoot. Pulls up. High post. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Hachimura's got his third bucket of the night. Alvarado, the pass to Valanciunas. Williamson with it. Check by James. Pass to Valanciunas. Now here's Alvarado. Outside Jones. The three is up. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. He's been absolutely relentless. Here's James. LeBron gets the bucket inside. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. 
Valanciunas passes to Williamson. Here's Jones. And another one falls for New Orleans. He's been perfect this quarter. They keep feeding him, and he keeps delivering. James, outside. That falls. Nice assist Timeout. by Russell. Three points. Russell's got assist number five here tonight. Pelican. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. And the Pelicans call time here. Checked in for New Orleans. Let's check in on the Western Conference standings as the race to the playoffs continues. Taking a look at the Pelicans, sixth best record in their respective conference right now, hoping to end the season on a high note. And of course, Los Angeles, they're in eighth place right now. I think for Los Angeles, they've had some terrific moments this season. But where's the big leap upward that we've been waiting for? Yeah, and you know, we've seen... Oh, wow! Set him up and let LeBron finish! Superb timing by LeBron on that alley-oop. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Hey, Brian, LeBron James last season moved into the top four all-time in assists and first all-time in points scored. Not only that, he is the only player in NBA history with over 30,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 10,000 assists. And he's still going. Folks, what we are witnessing is legendary. Brian? That is the truth. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you for that. One shot. That's good from Jones. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Elbow shot. Again, the oh, Lakers yeah. score. Add this game to LeBron's extensive career highlights. I mean, he's had plenty of big nights like this, but it never gets old. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Hachimura, the pass to James. James oh, with the focus. Yeah. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Williamson passes to Zeller. And here's Jones. Kicks it out to Williamson. Over James. That's good from Williamson on the assist from Jones. Williamson's got 10 points in the game. Russell finds James. Davis with it. Down low. And the basket by Achimura. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Here's Marshall. And it's New Orleans with another. With the utmost belief in his game, he's able to beat opponents in a number of ways. Williamson against James. Davis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Cody Zeller. Look at AD, and you know he's taken a share of contact over the course of his career. And quite honestly, that just comes with the territory when you're a dominant offensive player like him. The first free throw is good. At his best, Davis is an MVP caliber player. One of the true franchise guys in the league. Both free throws good from Davis. 
Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that, made them pay. No good on that one. His first miss. He's four for five now. Pass to Prince. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Prince has got eight. Boy, nice strong finish that time by Torian Prince. Here's McCollum. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Inside. And Davis slams it home. The assist. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Outside Jones. Back to McCollum. Zeller, pass to McCollum. A step back shot. Again, the Pelicans good for two. There's some nice chemistry on offense. They're just taking what the defense allows. Well, it's interesting. The defense continues to back off, expecting them to attack the rack. But they just continue to pull up and knock down those mid-range jumpers. Here's Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got three assists now in this one. Now McCollum. 11 points in the game. Jones' his shot is good. You know, at the offensive end, McCollum does a little of everything for you. I mean, that was a great pass. To the middle. Vincent passes to Prince. Driving inside. All right, now a chance to examine the rebounding numbers over the past few months for Jonas Valanciunas. And I'm sure he's not pleased with these stats. His rebounding has taken a bit of a tumble over the last couple of months. He's really got to get his energy back up on the glass and start fighting for boards again. First one falls. Both free throws good from Davis. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. McCullum, the pass to Hawkins. Here's Nance. Pass to Hawkins. Shoots from the line. And that one drops for him. Hawkins has got five points. He picks the exact right moment to get himself a clear line to the basket. Throws it up high. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Prince. And let's take a look at some of the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Here are this season's rebound leaders. In the third spot, Anthony Davis. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. Six-point game. McCullum outside. basket for New Orleans. Not only a perimeter player, McCollum can go inside. Outside Reddish. Back to James. Pass to Vincent. Here's Davis. Oh, he's been lethal. Connecting again, making him nine for nine. Boy, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding by. Here's McCollum. He's got 13. It's stolen by James. Here's Vincent. The shot's good on the assist by James. And now an eight-point Los Angeles lead. Great teamwork on that drive. 
punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Los Angeles has gone a perfect five for five from deep tonight. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. And it's good. Two points. Vincent's gotten four this quarter. And the advantage he has is obvious. It's clear. I mean, just taking what the defense gives him there. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Pass to McCullum. Who poked away. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be right back after this word. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He ended up with 22 points, three rebounds, and five assists. Shaq, what'd you think about the Lakers? They've come out determined to push the pace. Up tempo offense, getting the ball up court as quickly as possible. The advantage of transition points has been the major difference in this game. And uh, Kenny, what you see from New Orleans? New Orleans never fun. You're playing against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stop. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shoot. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. Yeah, in the first half, he taught a class on how to make your teammates look good. And you know what delights him most? That's what he takes most pride in. He loves being the chief facilitator. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And so in the game for Los Angeles, it's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Gabe Vincent. And it's Achimura in at the three. Russell, a chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Reeves is checked in for Los Angeles. Defensive foul. D'Angelo Russell. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Pelicans, C.J. McCullough. The free throw drops for McCullum. A late bloomer. C.J. McCullum's career has been fun to watch unfold, and I'm sure inspired lots of hoopers out there. And the basket by Achimura. Achimura's got 11 points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And it's all about being in rhythm. McCullum excels at recognizing when he should shoot off the bounce. James deciding where to go with it. Pass to Davis. Oh, it's pure again. He's now a perfect 10 for 10 in this one. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle and that they're offensive in. McCullum finds Valanchunas. Now Williamson. Six on the shot clock. The shot from the low post is good. 12 points for him. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. Here's Russell. And there's another one for the Lakers. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And McCollum doesn't back down from anyone, including inside where he challenges defenders. CJ McCollum!
The free throw drops for McCollum. And McCollum drops them both. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Russell against McCollum. Russell into the lane. Over McCollum. Again, the yeah, Lakers score. Everything working for him out of the half as they've hit four of their first five shots. Ingram, a pass to Valanciunas. Russell against McCollum. Fires the three. Drills it from deep. McCollum's got 11 points in the quarter. I'll tell you what, guys. There's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire. Yet, they still trail in this game. And the Lakers call time here. I'm looking for the loudest sexes. If you get that, you get T-shirts. So let's go! one of the top five rebounding teams in the league. They put in a lot of work down low. They're an intimidating team when they're attacking the boards. And their scoring average is the big one, if you ask me. It hasn't mattered what defense they're facing on any given night. They can fill it up against everybody. Davis, the pass to James. Back to Davis. Count it. Davis has gotten four this quarter. Good positioning that time from AD. Working the pick and roll beautifully. Williamson passes to Valanciunas. Yeah, really left him no choice there. He had the foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. Third team foul. At the line for two. Jonas Valanciunas. Free throw drops for Valanchunas. Boy, Valanchunas, a mountain of a man, a solid big guy who scores well and provides a lot of length and muscle inside. Good on both. And Davis has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Reeves, the pass to Davis. That one goes. Count it. Davis has got 28 points for the game. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit Austin on the Reed. interior. I mean, he For never three. lets a shot go uncontested. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. But over and back. And a good opportunity to bring up this season's top assist men. Fourth, LeBron James. He has a great eye for where to send the ball. And you know his teammates love playing with an unselfish guy like him. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Russell to pass to Achimura. James against Williamson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Bully ball. LeBron has been doing that since he stepped into the lead. At the line for the Lakers, LeBron James. Take a break. Take a break. 
Two shots. That one's off. Some changes for New Orleans. Marshall comes in for Zion Williamson. And Alvarado's subbed in for McCollum. And the Lakers also making a change. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. And he's good on the second. New Orleans has gotten seven of eight three-pointers to go in this game. Up top, Alvarado, guarded by Russell. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. The Lakers in the lead. Here's James. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. They feel like they have an advantage inside. And so far, they have done an excellent job exploiting it. And the thing I've seen Find that I've really been impressed by is they've gotten everybody involved. Unselfishly making that extra pass, getting that ball to the right guy at the right time for the good shot. James, no good on the free throw. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing former players in front office positions, Grant. It's so true, B.A., and we need even more former players in those roles. They bring a perspective that a lot of front offices just don't have. They can add value with their experience. I really like this move. Outside Russell. Pass to James. Here's Reeves, defended by Jones. Clock at six, and stolen by Jones. To the inside, and he banks in the layup. Alvarado's gotten four this quarter. Precision pass into the post. Well-earned assist. James with the ball. Marshall's there, and he gets that one. And the Lakers lead by nine. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Zion Williamson is a one-man wrecking crew inside. His coach, Willie Green, said, quote, it's incredible his touch when he gets down to the lane with two, three guys hanging on him, and he's still somehow able to find the glass, and he does a great job of finding his teammates as well. And, Brian, let's not forget about those dunks either. Oh, definitely not. That's the show. Thanks, Allie. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. by Russell. Yep, that one's good. Alvarado's got six. You just can't give up looks that close to the rim. That's tipped. Here's Reeves, defended by Jones. The shot by Reeves, no good. And it's Jones with the ball for the Pelicans. They trail by seven. And that's basket number nine for him. He's nine for ten. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. And down it goes, two points. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Wing Reeves. 
out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Prince has checked in for Los Angeles. Dinwiddie comes in for Reeves. Shot clock at six. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. On target from range. Dinwiddie's got his first three points of the game. The defense trying to take other things away. So he steps up and buries the triple. And he gets it to go. Pick works well there. But the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Russell, the pass to Prince. And here's Hachimura. He's got 11. Takes one from 10 feet, and he connects with a jump. Hachimura's got 13. New Orleans has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Pass to Valanciunas. Jones with the ball. And there's the foul. It's on Jackson Hayes. And that's his first foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Vincent's checked in. Substitution on the court. And here are the Pelicans now. Six-point game. Six to shoot. Here's Zeller. Still without a bucket. Here's Valanciunas. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Yeah, he's a top-tier offensive rebounder. Valanciunas uses his size and strength to his advantage to do damage on the boards. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. And another three for the Lakers. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. Here's Alvarado. Zeller, the pass to Alvarado. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. It's Hayes with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Deflected! Here's Hawkins. In the game. Counting. Good. Ten points for him. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. The ball's knocked loose. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pelicans. And they're sitting at number two in the NBA in field goal percentage. They've got a smart offensive system in place. You won't see them forcing shots too often. And this is a team that loves to play at a breakneck pace. Once they get the ball, they're looking to push the pace. And they are the best in the league at converting in transition. Here's Alvarado. Tipped. Hachimura against Zeller. Hachimura, the pass to Hayes. Two minutes. Dinwiddie outside. The Two minutes. Back to Hayes. It's Prince on the wing. Drops one Two in minutes. from the wing. Assist Prince has got 10 points. Jackson Hayes. Yeah, he recognized the overcommitment by the defense there and then made a smart pass to get that ball back outside. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Hayes, the pass to Prince. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. Boy, just a nice quick decision that time in the screen and roll by Prince. I like that decisiveness there. To the wing, right side. Hits the trifecta. Good heads up basketball. Sees an opening and capitalizes. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout.
Williamson has checked in for New Orleans. C.J. McCollum comes in for Alvarado. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Reddish comes in for Achimura. And finished Anthony off Davis. by Davis. Wow, Davis on fire right now. Doing just about anything he wants on offense. For three, McCollum sinks the tray. McCollum's got 14 points now in the second half. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. And he lobs it up top and finished off by Davis. Well, that's good work by Prince there, spotting the open man and then putting the ball on target on time right in the shooting box. McCollum finds Zeller. Here's Hawkins. He's covered by Dinwiddie. And another three for New Orleans. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Here's Vincent. Down low. Let's it fly. And again, it's Anthony Davis. Davis has got 12 points now in the quarter. As we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Lakers ahead, leading by four. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. The Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. Then it's Larry Nance. Then there's C.J. McCollum. And it's Hawkins in at the shooting guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Denwitty gets the bucket. James continues to impress with his pass, and I think that's his greatest attribute. Outstanding assist there. Count it. McCollum's got 16 in the second half. Such a graceful move. Showing off the floater game. Here's James. Again, the Lakers. I think LeBron is best shooting the ball off the dribble. His accuracy, spot on. Nance, the pass to Ingram. And here's McCollum, guarded by Russell. Releases. And it's New Orleans with another. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect them to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Davis, that's good. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. McCollum, pass to Nance. And here's Ingram. Williamson outside. Here's Hawkins. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer, and he'll head to the line. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make him earn those points from deep. Don't give them to him free at the line. No good on the free throw. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Nance. Hachimura has checked in for the Lakers. Reeves comes in for Dinwiddie. And the second free throw is good.
and he nails the third. Tough miss at this juncture. They're down two baskets right now. James passes to Russell. Back to James. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It'll be on Zion Williamson. LeBron deals with a ton of physical defense, and he dishes out some physical contact, too. But that's why he works so hard on his body. I mean, you might foul him, but you're not going to push him around. No way, Jose. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, good from James. And the Pelicans making a change here. Jones has checked in. Both free throws, good from James. And so McCollum will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They trail by six. Pass to Valanciunas. That's good, and it's McCollum with the assist. McCollum's got his sixth assist of the night. Now there's the strength we talk about often with Valanchunas. It helps him convert on these physical takes. McCollum against Russell. Outside Jones. Pass to Williamson. Tipped away. James with a steal. Now Achimura, covered by Ingram. Achimura against Ingram. And the basket by Achimura. And the Lakers lead by six. Not to be denied, Achimura has a great motor and competes with the best of them. And there's McCollum on the assist from Jones. Jones has got four assists in the game. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. And he's going for the lob, and Davis slams it home. There are very few players in the class of Anthony Davis. I mean, he is a franchise cornerstone, no question about it. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson. And that's what we've come to expect from Zion. Exactly. Inside, here's Davis. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. His big night continues. He is fueling this lead. McCollum, a pass to Valanchunas. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. It's James on the wing. And the Lakers tack LeBron on James. two more. LeBron ready to fire. Shot it with confidence there. Here's McCollum. Count the basket. McCollum's got 35 in the game. And they've really relied on him down the stretch. Yes, they have. He's made all four of his shots this quarter. Definitely looking to be a dangerous guy. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee. But who doesn't love a team like this? Let's go. I like offense. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to catch the message that Darvin Ham was giving to his team. He told his guys, let's not waste this advantage. Hold on to it. Stay aggressive. 
Let's not give up ground. Coach wants to see his team staying strong out there, guys. As always, Allie, LeBron we thank James. you. How many times have we seen that? I mean, LeBron going right through and into the defense and finds a way to power through the contact as if he hasn't even been hit. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Six on the shot clock from the baseline. And it's Ingram with the basket on the assist from Valanchunas. Incredible. Did you see his mobility? I mean, leans out into space and drains it. Here's James. And again, it's the Lakers. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Pass to Valanchunas. Now here's Jones. Outside Ingram. Pulls it from the top of the key. Bullseye! Ingram's got 22 points. What about those dribble moves from Ingram? I mean, really good at carving his way through whatever the defense throws his way. Russell to pass to Davis. And Davis slams it home. An elite score demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. McCullum against Russell. Outside Jones. With the teardrop. And he lays it in. He has 29 now. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Four, personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. LeBron Shoot James. Two, two shots. That free throw, good from James. He's simply just willing himself to the line here. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The Pelicans trail. McCollum with it. Clock at six. Soft touch off the glass. McCollum's got 37. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. James strong inside. And that's five for five. This fourth quarter has his fingerprints all over it. And, guys, in that case, his teammates should really just keep getting him the ball until he misses or pulls off. Because right now, he's got it going. To the middle. Hachimura. That shot's good. Ooh. Russell Ooh. making the play. Hachimura's got four points now in the quarter. Here's New Orleans now. Seven-point differential. From seven feet. Again, the Pelicans good for two. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. And Davis slams it home. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. And this is just typical of him, always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. Four personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for New Orleans, CJ McCullough. That one misses. Oh, 
Good on the second one. The Lakers in the lead. Outside Russell. Pass to James. Davis down low. Covered by Ingram. And the layup falls. Davis has got 46. Even when the defense is stellar, Davis still able to score the ball. That's what makes him an elite talent. He can make hard shots look easy. Jones with the ball. And Davis picks him up defensively. And that one drops. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. James passes to Russell. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Russell's got nine points here in the second half. Pass to Ingram. That one goes in. You know, it's never easy trying to contain Ingram, especially when he's fighting off defenses like this. Williamson against James. Outside Russell. Here's Reeves. Here's James. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got 28. And you know, as time goes on, Ingram continues to embrace more responsibility. He wants to be the focal point of this offense. Not to be deterred. LeBron! And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, those hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. And you know what? Ingram is always ready to score in the clutch, guys. He's a guy you can depend on to give you his best when his best is needed. Great teamwork and great time. Oh, spectacular play. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. Timeout called. The Pelicans, they trail by eight. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. Well, he's getting in a groove at the perfect time, just as they're getting ready to do battle in the postseason. Williamson against James. And that one's good. Williamson. Huge bucket by Williamson. Wow. The former first overall pick stepping up in the clutch. First personal foul. Third team foul. 43 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Outside Russell. Hachimura with room to shoot. Jones grabs the board. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. Valanchunas finds McCullum. Up and over, Russell. Money! And now they trail by just four! Well, McCullum, just so competitive. He never gives up on the play or his team. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to Take run out the clock. Yeah, break. they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. First free throw is good, and that puts him up five. 
you know, Russell's known for his scoring ability, but I like the fact that he's eager and hungry to continue to improve. Again. Sensing an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on it. Time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're losing by six. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. From deep three-point land. Rebounded by LeBron. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere. But he could have gotten a better one than that. At the line for the Lakers. LeBron Take a James break. Take a break. Taking two, two shots. shots. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that makes it a seven-point lead. To the wing on the left. And again, no good by New Orleans. So we see the Lakers get the win here. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? All right, thanks, guys. D'Angelo, some great basketball tonight. Talk about the winning habits this team is forming. Keeping it simple on the offensive end, limiting our errors on the defensive end. And I think that piles up. We stay solid throughout the whole game. It's just simple, man. I think the, the simple we keep it, the better we are as a team. Keep it simple. What a great reminder. Thanks, D'Angelo. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.